I'm Dr. B, and this is my buzz. Mm -hmm. I want you to meet one of our teachers at Ars Nova today. She's a voice teacher, also does ear training for us. And she has an interesting story because we've been talking for the last couple of weeks about vocal health and how important it is that we take care of this precious gift we've been given. Um, Dixie took her degree and a graduate degree at Samford University, and I'm going to ask you to talk a little about her teacher there who was a very famous pedagogue at the time she studied with her. I think she's gone now. And, and then we'll talk about what you did after graduation. Oh, we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> yes, we do. Mrs. Owsley, Eleanor Owsley, was my teacher at Sanford, and she was renowned in the area. Uh, she uh, was an imposing figure and a very strict teacher and could make grown boys cry, but you probably don't want that information. But she auditioned for the Met just to see if she could make it. She had already had a family, and she did. She made it. <laughs> And then she turned it down. Mm -hmm. But she had an amazing voice. Now, what did you do after graduation? Okay. Well, actually, before I graduated, I started working at a theme park in Nashville, Tennessee, called Opryland. You're probably not familiar with this, but your grandparents will have heard about it. <laughs> I'm very old. Um, Opryland was good experience. Uh, I learned a lot of things there. I learned how to to turn on and be in the moment as soon as the curtain came up and the orchestra came in. I was right there, major adrenaline rush. That part of it was good. The bad part was that the rush just came right at my body and just kind of stopped right here in my throat. And any thought of technical uh, ability or, or the technique of singing pretty much went out of my head. I just went with the moment. What eventually happened? You, you had some difficulties. What told you you were getting in trouble? Well, I would have uh, problems with being hoarse and uh, some coughing, but the real telltale sign was one night during a production of a Little Shop of Horrors in which I played Audrey. And I was on stage with my co-star, Seymour, and we were belting out suddenly Seymour, and I felt something pop in my throat, and I had no sound. I had complete laryngitis, and that had never happened before. That was scary. Yes, it was. Gosh. So, you understand why I wanted her to share her story with you. So, you ended up at um, Na in Nashville, again, but at a different place, didn't right. you? Right. This time at the Voice Center at Vanderbilt. And, uh, sure enough, I had nodules on my vocal cords, and I also had uh, pharyngeal reflux, which is where the acid from your stomach will come up into your throat and be burning my vocal cords at night. So I was on complete voice rest for about two months. Couldn't even whisper. Uh, I, how long have we been working, Dixie? About 15 years off and on, haven't we? Uh, at uh, least. At and, least. And when she came to me, she, she'd been singing again and taking better care of her voice. And, uh, but she's worked hard, and I think we'll have her on another time because I want to tell you before we use our time that uh, she's singing better than she ever has in her life. I'm just amazed at her. And we are starting a program at Ars Nova, uh, particularly designed for homeschoolers, uh, musical theater. And Dixie's our in primary instructor in that. We have uh, Susan Kelly, who will be doing movement and some dance with the students. But it's going to be fabulous. But she understands how important it is that we not only sing with excitement, but that we sing with health. Thank you so much, Dixie, for sharing. I enjoyed it. Thank you.